Yo, I paid for the flight just like everybody else. So we don't have a right to be on this flight? So this is discrimination. Yo, this is insane. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I agree. Yo, just because of the color of my skin. Okay. Okay. But I don't know if you've ever been on an airplane and you know good and damn well that if you wild out, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Welcome to a special edition of Racist of the Week cause, cause this couldn't wait till the end of the week. And yes, I know I'm wearing my shirt buttoned all the way up. That's so you allow me to get away with not wearing a jacket cause it's a thousand degrees in here. Y'all don't know my pain. This is, by the way, where we expose the stupidity and hypocrisy of discrimination in hopes we can build a more perfect union and also laugh. I would also put an emphasis on stupidity for this particular episode. As usual, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Racism. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the page and definitely leave me any possible suggestions for nominees in the comments. Without further ado, today's nominee, American Airlines, come on down. Three black men have filed a federal lawsuit against American Airlines, alleging racial profiling by flight attendants on a New York City bound flight in January. And if they were discriminating against black people on a flight bound for New York City, they were not going to have a very warm welcome. I can tell you that right now as a longtime New York City resident. The plaintiffs, Alvin Jackson, Emmanuel Jean Joseph, and Xavier Veal claim they were removed from flight 832 from Phoenix due to a body odor complaint, which they believe was racially motivated. Now, I'm gonna stop you right there. I didn't even know you could make a body odor complaint. I had, I had no idea. Is that what we're doing right now? Where else can I make a body odor complaint? Like the movie theater? I would definitely do one in the movie theater. I was offended by some of the odors at Golden Corral uh, last time I went there with my family. I would love to make them go to Corral. The subway, oh my gosh, the sub. I don't think anybody could be on the subway. I'd be riding by myself. If I could just make odor complaints on the subway, let me find out. This was filed in the Eastern District of New York. The lawsuit states that American Airlines employees approached three black men along with five other black passengers and instructed them to deboard without providing a reason. According to the complaint, the men observed that only black passengers were being ordered off the plane. Now, now it makes me wonder, if only black passengers were ordered off the plane and it was an odor complaint, then then what was the odor? Was it was it cocoa butter? Was that it? Was it was it was it was it some sort of was it aloe vera? Huh? Was it was it Afro Sheen? I got it. I got it. It was McDonald's, wasn't it? It was definitely McDonald's. This clearly was somebody that had a really bad interaction with a black person that used to lather themselves in cocoa butter who smelled cocoa butter and had a flashback. I know somebody having a flashback when I hear somebody having a flashback. In a joint statement released by Outen and Golden LLP, the men stated, quote, what happened to us was wrong. Imagine a flight attendant ordering every white person off a plane because of a complaint about one white person. That would never happen, but that is what happened to us. There is no explanation other than the color of our skin. And, and I appreciate the example that they laid out because that is a very instructive. When in doubt, wonder how it would look if your places were swapped. Is there any place on earth that would remove all the white people from anywhere because there was a complaint about one white person. Maybe a Boosie concert, but that's about it. I can't imagine that ever happening, but yet here we are, American Airlines. Represented by attorneys Susan E. Hutta and Lindsey Goldbroom of Outen and Golden, along with Michael Kirkpatrick and Lauren Bateman of Public Citizen Litigation Group, the men alleged that their removal was based solely on their race. An American Airlines representative later told them that a white male flight attendant had complained about an unidentified passenger's body odor. The lawsuit highlights that the plaintiffs did not know each other before the incident. Now, I'm gonna have to stop us once again. First of all, what kind of body odor just jumps from person to person? Why are you removing that many people because of a body odor complaint? People that aren't even in the general vicinity of one another. But this is my favorite though. They did not know one another. The people did not know one another. As absurd as it is, 
to make an odor complaint and have somebody removed from a plane, you had more than one person removed from a plane because of an odor complaint, because I guess it's contagious, but, but not to the white people. The white people can't catch the odor that were in the general vicinity of the people that had the offending odor. They can't catch it. It's just only black people. Only black people are susceptible to the odor. And it jumps from black person to black person, and they don't even have to be with them. They don't even have to know them. What explanation could you possibly have for removing that many black people that don't even know one another. Ooh, put me on this jury. Put me on this jury. I will move back to New York just to be on this jury. After their removal from the plane, an American Airlines representative reportedly admitted that their removal seemed discriminatory, but allowed them back on the flight when no alternative flights were available. Now, that seems suspicious, doesn't? Doesn't that seem suspicious? They were removed from the flight because of an offensive odor. Did they shower while, while, they were, while they were back at the Phoenix airport? Huh? Were there showers available? Did they go into the bathroom and just, and just take a quick one in the sink like I used to do throughout my 20s? It doesn't sound like it. Huh. That is, that is interesting. Just, just put them right back on the flight, huh? Well, we'll see. We tried. We tried to accommodate your request for an all-white flight. We did what we could, but we were unable to book the darkies. Sorry, we were, we were unable to we were unable to book the other passengers on another flight. So sorry, we couldn't accommodate the all-white flight. But yes, we will. We will. We will. We take your request very seriously. One white flight attendant. The plaintiffs are seeking compensation for pain and suffering, attorney fees and punitive damages sufficient to deter future discrimination by the airline. If you ask me, they should get an unlimited number of vouchers for other airlines. I wouldn't want nothing from American Airlines after something like this. In an email statement, America Airlines announced it is investigating the incident. Um, what's the investigation? Huh? What, 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 what is the investigation? Were they removed? There's evidence that they were removed. Hmm, were they removed because of an odor complaint from one white flight attendant. That appears to be the case. And the people didn't even know each other. What's the investigation? I did all the investigation you need in this video. But anyway, they put out this statement. We take all claims of discrimination very seriously and want our customers to have a positive experience when they choose to fly with us. Our teams are currently investigating the matter as the claims do not reflect our core values or our purpose of caring for people. And I guess somewhere in that statement, it was supposed to say white people because none of that is reflective of what happened. Like literally none of that. Michael Kirkpatrick, one of the plaintiff's attorneys, said that a complaint was filed with the US Department of Transportation, prompting contact from America Airlines Customer Service Department. However, Kirkpatrick's request to speak with the airline's legal team has not been answered. I'm sure their legal team will be in touch. They gonna have to, cause this made national news. Now Kirkpatrick noted that the plaintiffs are anxious about flying with American Airlines in the future due to the incident. It's gonna bring back memories of this said one. And according to Kirkpatrick, the plaintiffs didn't notice any bad odor on the flight. Before takeoff, eight black men were pulled off the flight without any explanation. They skipped rows of white people to get to our clients and were clearly walking through the airplane and picking out the black men with no white passengers to get off the plane. The men were allowed back on the same flight when no other flights were available, leading them to believe their removal was a pretext. And we've seen this time and time again in my races of the week. We've also seen it in some of my troubling waters, just how lazy racism has become in 2024. Just, just so lazy. Like you would think you would sprinkle a couple white people in there just to protect yourself, but, but just know the pure, unadulterated, ever clear, 100% pure racism. Like that's, that's what we're doing in 2024. Upon reboarding, the men felt angered, frustrated, fearful, and embarrassed. Other passengers expressed shock at the apparent racial targeting. And that is a situation I've been in before. I don't know if you've ever been just the epitome of disgust. I mean, like a nine or 10 out of 10, but you are at the airport or you are on an airplane and you know good and damn well that if you wild out, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm knocking stuff over on my table. Just, just the memory, just the memory of what happened got me clearing off my table. The lawsuit adds to a series of incidents involving America Airlines and allegations of racial discrimination 
In 2020, Aubrey Kelly and Elgin Banks, both black men, sued the airline for racial discrimination. Their case was dismissed in favor of American Airlines because of course it was. In 2017, the NAACP even issued a travel advisory warning black passengers to exercise caution when flying with the airline after multiple incidents involving black passengers. And you would think that an airline that had to have a travel advisory issued against it by the NAACP would mind their P's and Q's. You know what I mean? Like you would think if you had to have a travel advisory, whoa, well, is there a, is there a, is there a COVID breakout? Is it, is it Ebola? Like what, what, what do we got going on? Is there a war going on? Not nah, racism, not nah, ra racism. It's they just racist. That's why we had to issue a travel advisory. That is wild. And you know what I blame for all this? You know what I blame? I blame DEI. I blame DEI. I do. Because if they didn't have to diversify the flight attendants, you wouldn't have these knucklehead. What's that? Oh, the offending flight attendant was white. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what? I, I, it's still DEI though. It's still DEI. Because if they didn't have to diversify the plane, right? If they didn't have to diversify the plane, they wouldn't have these issues. If they could have had an all white plane, it would have been no offending odor. You know what I mean? It would it would have been no it would have been no issue if they didn't have to uh, if they didn't have to diversify the plane. So if you have a nice all white plane, then you got no issues going from Phoenix to New York. But in re all reality, in all reality, this is a textbook case for DEI, right? In all seriousness, because if you had black people in decision-making positions, while you try to take that many black people off of a flight who don't know one another because of one white person's odor complaint, they would have told you, what the f are you doing? They gonna sue the hell out of us, put them back on the flight and get your ass in the unemployment line, which is what needed to be said. That is exactly what needed to be said. But because you don't have anybody black sitting in your common sense booth, this is what you got. Now you're getting sued. So congratulations to American Airlines. You are our racist of the week. And in fact, isn't American Airlines, isn't that where the Dallas Mavericks play? That's where the Mavs play. How's that for timing? Just as they get to the finals. Hey, Kyrie Irving, you know exactly what to do. As always, if you have somebody you would like to nominate, leave it in the comments or you can email me at reese.waters at gmail.com and be sure to subscribe to the page to make sure you get notified when the next video drops.